Hello friends! Do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you find the last shape we drew in our pattern? When we find the last shape we drew in our pattern, we will know what yesterday was. And once we know what yesterday was, then we can figure out what today is. What is the last shape? Did you guess yellow circle? Yellow circle was the last shape we drew in our pattern. And that tells us that yesterday was Monday, March 29th, 2021. So if this was yesterday, we're gonna move one square over and we always go left to right because we read left to right. So we'll go one square over to the right and this will be today. So what should we draw in the square for today? What comes next in our pattern? I hear some great guesses. Let's go back to the top and do our pattern together and see if our guess is correct. Are you ready? Green shamrock, yellow circle, yellow circle, 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 green shamrock, yellow circle, yellow circle. Did you guess yellow circle? Let's put the yellow circle into our square. You can draw it on your paper or in the air with your finger. Are you ready? We'll start up at the top and go around in a loop. And then we can just color it in. And it's okay if your circle is a little bit wonky or not quite round. We're all practicing and we'll get better the more that we practice. Now that we know which square is the square for today, we can figure out what the name of the day is. Do you remember how many days there are in the week? Oh, here's some great guesses. Let's go up to the top and count all of our days and say their names together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Thank you for singing that with me. When we do it together, it's much more fun. So let's see. Let's go back to our square for today and we'll go up the column to see what the name of the day is. And it says Tuesday. And Tuesday begins with the letter T. And T sounds like T. Can you make that sound? Go T. Good job. So some words to start with T are teeth and telephone. So capital T because it's the name of our day, T-U-E-S-D-A-Y, Tuesday, Tuesday. And Tuesday has two syllables. Will you clap them with me? Tuesday. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Tuesday. Excellent. Now, before we put that into our agenda, I want to point out that today is a special day. So it's two things. There's two things that are happening today. It is National Take a Walk in a Park Day. And that's fun. You can go outside and find a park and just go for a walk and see what you can find. Do you see ladybugs, birds? Maybe there's some puppies going for a walk, trees, flowers. There's all kinds of things to see. So go for a walk and see what you can find. The other thing that today is, is National Pencil Day. And we're celebrating the day that the pencil was patented. So a pencil, I brought one today, looks kind of like this. Can you see that? There's a piece of lead at the tip here and we sharpen this in a sharpener. And at the other end is an eraser. They come in all different colors and you can get patterned ones with fun shapes all over them, hearts, happy faces, all kinds of things. And we use them to print or write. We like to use them lots in math or when we're drawing things like maps or architecture. We can also use them to draw pictures of things, maybe of people or animals or scenery. So today's pencil day and I'm going to use this pencil to write in our agenda. Did you bring your agenda with you today? It's okay if you don't have an agenda. You can practice on a piece of paper or in the air with your finger. Are you ready? So we will start by printing the first two words of our sentence and they are today is and today begins with a capital T because it's the first word in our sentence. T O D A Y and then the word is I S 
And the next word is going to be Tuesday, capital T because it's the name of our day. U E S D A Y. And then a comma. And that comma is going to remind us to pause before we say the next word. And the next word is going to be our month. Do you remember how many months there are in the year? I hear some great guesses. Let's count them up and say their names together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in the year. Did you guess twelve? Let's say their names together. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. And do you remember what month we're in? That's right, it's a third one from the top. One, two, three, March. So we are in the month of March and we have printed it at the top of our calendar. March begins with the letter M. Can you say the sound for M? Go, mmm, good job, mmm, excellent. So some words that start with M are marzipan, Metal, marbles, capital M because it's the name of our month, A-R-C-H, March. And March has one syllable. Will you clap it with me? March, good job, let's try one more time. March, excellent. Now let's put March into the agenda. Today is Tuesday, comma, March, capital M, A-R-C-H. H. And next we're going to put in the number. And what number do you think it is today? I hear some great guesses. Do you remember what the number was yesterday? That's right. Yesterday was 29. And when we count, we say 29. But when we say it in a calendar, we say 29th. Can you try that? 29th. Good job. So yesterday was the 29th. And what do you think comes after 29 when we're counting? That's what today will be. So 29, hmm, I hear some great guesses. Let's go back up to the top and count all of our days to see if our guess is correct. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Did you guess 30? Let's put 30 into our calendar. You can practice on your piece of paper or in the air with your finger. Are you ready? So 30 has two digits, a three and a zero. So we'll start by putting the three in. We'll start up here and we'll loop down and then back out and loop again. And then we're gonna make a zero. So it's kind of like the circle, but a little bit skinnier. Start up at the top and go around, back up to the top. So a three and a zero together make 30. And when we count, we say 30. But when we put it in the calendar, we say 30th. Can you try that? 30th. Good job. Now let's count backwards. It's okay. If you don't know how yet, we'll practice together. Are you ready? 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! So now we can put the number into our sentence. Today is Tuesday, comma, March 30th. So we'll put a three and a zero, and then a comma. And that comma reminds us to pause before we say the year. And the year is at the top of the calendar, 2021 or 2021. Two, zero, two, one, and then a period. And that period reminds us to stop. There's nothing more to say in our sentence. Will you say the whole sentence with me? Are you ready? Today is Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. Excellent job, thank you. 
Next, I'm going to practice making my numbers all the way up to 30. I wanna practice making my numbers every day so I get really good at them. And I'd like you to practice every day so that you get really good at them. You can practice on your paper or you can do it in the air with me as we draw. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, that was a lot of numbers. Thank you for doing the sentence and practicing all those numbers with me. That was a lot of hard work. I'm so glad that you're trying so hard with me. It's much more fun when we do it together. Did you peek outside today to see what the weather was like before we got started? I'm always so curious what the weather is like for you. Is it snowing? Guess what? It's snowing where, we, where I live. We're actually having a big storm right now. So I'm going to keep that for later. Let's see what the weather's like for you. Partly cloudy, partly sunny. Or is the sun shining? Do you get to go outside and play today with no jacket? Or is it raining? Is there puddles? Do you get to go jump in puddles today? Or is it just cloudy? Just kind of like a gloomy kind of day. Hmm. Ours is snowy. We thought we were done with snow for the year, but Mother Nature is surprising us again. And we have snow today. So we'll put it on our calendar board and I would love it if you could help me put it into our weather chart. Are you ready? So our first one is raining, but it's not raining. Oh, here's snowing. So we already have two tally marks in snowing and we're going to add one more. So we have one, two, two tally marks plus one. What is two plus one? Here's some great guesses. Let's put our tally mark in the weather chart and see if our guess is correct. So we'll start at the top. You can practice on your paper or in the air with your finger and strike it down. So two plus one. Let's see. One, two, three. Two plus one equals three. Thank you for helping me with the weather chart. Let's draw the weather in for today. You can draw whatever kind of weather you have and I'll draw what kind of weather I have. So I'm going to draw a cloud with my pencil and then I'm going to draw some snowflakes with my pencil. Pencils are great to draw with because you can always erase them. Next, I'm going to pick one thing that I'm going to do today and I'm going to draw it in my agenda. And I would like you to pick one thing that you're going to do today to draw in your agenda. What is something that you know you have to get done today? It could be doing dishes or eating lunch or making your bed or playing with your ball. It can be anything you want. You can draw one thing while I'm drawing my one thing. Are you ready? So today is National Walk in a Park Day, but it is also Pencil Day. So I am going to draw a picture of me walking in the park with my pencil. I can color it in with my crayons later if I want to. So let's put a tree here. Cause there's trees in the park and it's not nice out today, but I'm going to pretend it's nice out for my picture because it's not very nice to go for a walk in the park when it's snowing and blizzarding. And I'll put a little happy face and maybe there's some birds in the sky. So that is my picture of the park and I can color it in now that I've used my pencil to draw the outline. Pencils are so great. When you make a mistake, you can just erase them. Sometimes you just have to make sure you have a good eraser. If you press too hard, it might be harder to erase it. And next I need a brown for the tree stump. And then I think I'm going to wear a purple dress. 
Well, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that brown crown so quickly. I should color my hair. And next, I'm going to put my name at the bottom. And I would like you to print your name at the bottom of your picture as well. It's always important to put your name at the bottom of all the pictures that you draw. But we also want to practice printing our name every day so we get really good at it. So while I'm practicing printing my name, I would like you to practice printing your name. Don't forget to put a capital letter at the beginning. Are you ready? C-E-L-Y-N-N-E. -E. And how are you feeling today? Yesterday, I was really excited. Do you think I'm excited today? Were you excited as well yesterday? There's so many emotions that we can have. Let's see. Whoop. I don't think I'm excited today, so I'm going to take that one out. What about happy? Are you happy today? Are you having a good day? Maybe you're having some fun playing with your blocks or playing with a friend or family, or maybe you're just in a good mood and you don't really have a reason. That's okay way to feel. What about nervous? Are you nervous or shy? Maybe you're confused. Maybe. Hmm. Those are okay ways to feel. It's really good to talk about them. What about sad? Are you sad today? Did something happen to make you sad? Maybe you scraped your knee or lost your favorite toy. Hmm. Sometimes we cry when we're sad and that's okay too. What about angry? Are you angry today? I think I'm a little bit angry today. You know why? because it's snowing again. And I do really like the snow. I like to make snow forts and snowmen and snow angels and sometimes even have a snowball fight with some softer snow. But we were done and we started cleaning in the yard and I started going for walks and really enjoying outside. And I wanted to go outside today and have a nice walk in the park and now I can't. So I'm kind of angry. So I'm gonna put angry on the board today. But even though I'm angry, I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I'm going to find something else to do. And it is pencil day, so I'm going to draw a picture of myself in the park. Maybe some other things as well. Sometimes when things happen and we can't do what we wanted to do, and what we originally had planned, we just turn around and do something else. It's hard to do that sometimes, but it's really good to try because sometimes when you try, it turns out to be a good thing and then your day might end up being happy. You might enjoy the new thing that you're doing even though you can't do what you wanted to do in the first place. So that's something to try. So that's what, that's what I'm going to do about being angry today is I'm going to do something anyways and try not to be grouchy about it. And my kind thing to do today is that I'm not going to take my anger out on anybody else that's around me. So even though I'm so angry about not being able to do what I wanted to do today, I'm not going to be mean to anybody else in the house. I'm not going to be rude or snap at them. I'm just going to say I'd like to be alone for a little while, or I might say, I'd like to cuddle and watch a show. Can we do something quiet until my anger goes away? Those are some of the things that we can do and treat our other people that are around us a little bit more nicely while we're angry. Just remember never to take it out on somebody else. It's not their fault. So do you think you can find something kind to do today? Those sound like wonderful things. I hope you do something wonderful and kind today and we will see each other again tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.